So I wanted to get this uh, before shot of our back our back patio. Don't mind the trash bag over the uh, uh, the patio door. Um, whenever rain comes, uh, when it's blowing hard from the west, uh, it tends to leak in. All that to say, the plan is to backyard the sunsets are uh, beautiful I mean we can't wait just to sit from our back porch uh, enjoying a nice beverage uh, and just being able to uh, watch the sunset here so this is our um, back patio the way it is right now uh, and so like I said that uh, that slab uh, is original to the build um, it's 10 by 10 and what we're gonna do is we're going to go uh, 10 more feet um, to the left so so that'll be 10 more feet this way so it'll be a 10 by 20 patio uh, with a roof overhang it, it'll be a lean-to just wanted to give you a before shot of what it looks like So last night we were able to get the beams up um, right behind me. We still got one more beam uh, that we need to put on the footer and hopefully we'll be able to get that done uh, later this afternoon. So the goal by the end of the weekend uh, is to get the ledger board uh, installed, uh, the beam across on these upright posts, uh, and then the rafters. Um, so that way it'll be uh, ready for um, the sheet metal uh, to go right on top.
So we got all our posts up. We got three of them, four by six. Um, next thing we're gonna do uh, is we're gonna run uh, a line level from this post all the way across. Uh, this one I didn't cut yet, obviously, because it's on a footer, um, which will give a little bit uh, height difference um, based on this. I did my best to level the footer with this, but uh, measure twice, cut once, right? So we're gonna run the line level. Uh, these two are nice and plumb, nice and level. Um, now we're gonna run it from this one to this one, make our cut, and then get our cross beam uh, going on top. We're gonna go ahead and uh, install the ledger board now, uh, and then we'll get our um, our rafters, uh, at least four of them today, um, get those in so that way we can get everything nice and square. So our ledger board's installed. I need to cock around the seams, and then we're gonna, I gotta prime it uh, and paint it. Got our rafters in, um, I'm one short. I'm gonna have to head to the hardware store, pick one up along with some other hangers and we'll get that one in. But uh, this thing is coming together real nice. Uh, we're excited. So we're getting the purlings installed and we'll get our sheet metal ordered. So we got our purlings installed. Uh, I've already sanded um, all the wood, uh, and so now uh, we're putting a coat of stain on it, and this stuff looks fantastic. It looks really good.
our metal finally arrived. Uh, it took just a little over a month to finally get it in. So this is the final step, um, is just installing it. Uh, and then our porch project will be complete. We got our final panel cut. I'll turn the camera around to give you a bird's eye view of what this uh, roof looks like, but it's coming out really nice. So we'll get our final panel installed. Uh, then what I'll do is I'll chalk line where all my purlins are, so that way I can get um, my screw pattern uh, down um, and good to go. With the installation of our metal roof, our patio is finally complete. We absolutely love it. All the hard work has definitely paid off, and we can't wait for all the conversations, laughs, and memories our family will create here. This patio is just another way we are making our house a home. We are grateful, excited, and already looking forward to tackling the next project.